Uh, hello guys. Uh, I want to show you how I made this uh, drums from my song Blake. <coughs> so you can listen here that. Oh, the snare is very solid. Like. <coughs> so first thing that I do that I usually choose one uh, snares, and this one is from Crispy Dinner. Crispy Dinner. You can download it from freesound.org. So what I do here is I have this stairs and then I pitched it up to a pitch the buff so it will sound very crisp and very tight. You can see here. But as you can listen that this doesn't sound very heavy. <coughs> so what I do here is I layered it with several other snares that make will make it sound very heavy as you can listen here so what I do for the other uh, the other snares is I see this from the mixer and I see the pitch you can see here that it's around 300 ish 360 and then I pick any snares like the snares that will that I feel like it will make uh, make the snare sound more heavy but it's it's just uh, a matter of experience and use your ears to pick one if you cannot use your ears just trial and error like make sure that it will sound perfect I don't have any like uh, references or samples that I usually encourage you to use but any snares with will sounds fine so I use this random snares oh, you can see that you can hear that it's uh, not doesn't have this this very much crisp but we can work on that so I I picked it up and then as you can listen it sound a little bit different from from this one because I load the pitch based on the pitch that I saw here so you can see I make sure that the low mid pick sounds the same as the main snares that I use So when when we play together, you can hear that it's there, but it's only like uh, it helps the snares come out comes out much more. And I do the rest for this tw snares 22 and hi hat 34. Now you can listen here. I didn't edit it and I got like the same frequency range. Oh, you can listen here. It's very, th very deep snare. And then, because as you can see here, that the high is not. Uh, we need more highs because we have the like, uh, low mid very dominant. So. What I do is add, I add head layer. I don't need to. I don't need to make the pitch higher or lower from this head because uh, the head only fills the high mid part, the high part, and not low mid. So I don't need to think of about it too much. Yeah. Okay then, so for the mix part, <coughs> I group it all to like uh, four, four different types, not this, 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 and this, so group it for and write it to one place, and so for each one, I, uh, I low cut the lower frequency. 
so it won't rumble the paste <laughs> and same for the others and I decrease this uh, <coughs> the intensity of the low mid part because uh, it will be very overwhelming if we use uh, all the all the snares on the same frequency as you can see here and then after that I give some compression to the main snares because we need to make it really tight and you can also see here that I widen it a bit using the built-in stereo separation from FL Studio and that's pretty much it and then I route it to one place then I give it with shaper to like compress soft clip so to soft clip it I think yeah something like that then I give reverb so you can listen to the difference this is before the wave shaper this is after wave shaper it's for the, before the reverb yeah, you can see that you can hear the difference that uh, it feels a bit wider than than if we not use the reverb and the TV bass line is just uh, my thing to like <coughs> low pass the f low frequency that might uh, might be widened because of the reverb 